traveling to Hanamura. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the semifinals for the EGFH Season 1 for Overwatch. Today, we are starting off with a match between Woodstock Academy's Gold Team and Three Rivers College's Wolfpack, followed up by a match between Notre Dame's Green Knights and New London's Whaler Esports. My name is Street Ripping, and I will be joined by Straight Stripping, which is also actually me. I'm doing a solo cast today, boys. But we got a great game ahead of us, and we'll be checking out the team comps coming up here in just a second. As we take ourselves Our over to Hanamura. And we see the team on the defense finally coming out of spawn yeah, right here. And we'll around. take a peek inside of the room to see what type of team comp we might have coming out of Woodstock right here. We'll see if this is going to stick true to what we have right now. Pickle pulling out maybe a Widow here. Greetings. We'll see if he's going to be able to find some early pits on the side of the Wolfpack. They do have multiple walls, something that we typically don't see very often, though. is going to be a May, which maybe you'll see, see it time from time in your solo queue games. But normally teams won't pull this out in a comp, just alternating off that wall with the Reinhardt, giving him time to be able to recharge his shield. And we got eight seconds to go for the doors to open up right here. Let's get into it. Five, four, three, two, one. Attackers and we'll have Evan poke up right here. Try to get a little bit of early damage, not finding too much. Get to boost it back a little bit. Gonna have the Ferris shooting off in the back. Actually gonna have a May wall thrown up on the top there. Try to prevent anyone from coming in. Ooh, Snake in the back though is going to be infiltrating the Reinhardt's barrier. Someone's already on the point. We have trades on both sides of the team right there. And Blazin actually going to get the Mercy down. Sport will fall. And we have trades back and forth. This is one of the most even fights that I've seen in a little while. And Knight and Ten's mech will fall right here with that D-mech. And Evan likely going to fall. Knight and Ten was not moving out of mech right there. Evan's still hanging on, but Knight and Ten, I don't think he's going to be able to get his mech back. This will actually be the first point of Hanamura going over to Wolfpack. And we'll see how they're able to push forward with this right now. And there goes Pickle pushing up a little bit right here as the final tit does go through. We will have to see Woodstock get back to the point, make sure that they don't lose anybody to be at a disadvantage for the second point back here. And we have Snake actually dashing in. He will not be able to get out, but nobody's going to be contesting them. Going to throw out the reflect right there. Winton jumping in the back. Gets a little bit of damage on the Mercy, but nobody's able to take him out. And Lunar will fall. We have a trade on Emblazon right there. We have the Blade coming out. Not able to find anyone just yet. Actually gets stunned up. Chasing all the way back to the spawn. We have kind of multiple skirmishes going on right here. Pickle is not able to break through with the... Ryan show being up in everyone position behind Lunar gonna pop that dead eye gonna find two I would think this should be a good hold for the defense but Pickle's starting to come up right here gonna take out Lunar as revenge for killing two of his teammates and will take out his mech and Knight Intons also baby form right here there should be at least one tip we'll see if they're able to get two six minutes is on the clock this is gonna be big ooh the fro not finding anyone with that earth shatter have contests on the point. We are just a slight amount away from the second tick coming off here. Three on the point. The numbers advantage looks to be favoring the wolf pack for right now. That is three that are going to fall right here. Just pick off one more. We will get two ticks down. Sport falling in. Not able to get the resurrect off. Last person right there. Gonna be the fro. Good swap just to be able to get onto the point. Recall from the tracer coming out. And one drops. And now the trickle begins. Let's see what ultimates are coming up right now. We do have, ooh, Waifu actually falling down right before his transcendence comes up. But none of that matters. Nobody can tackle Pickle in the top right there as he gets another pick on Evan. Spork will fall. Five minutes, 18 Score. seconds on the side Zero. for Wolfpack. And that is a lot of time sides. to make use if they are able to come back and get the second point on the side of Woodstock as well. That was nonstop action, I must say. And I, the, the Widow coming up on the attacking side can be kind of iffy depending on what you're able to make do with. The way 
that Pickle was able to position though around the shield, around the Rhine shield, was here and there for some of the times. But once he actually was able to get his footing <clears throat> above the ground and actually be able to pick people off around, or once the Reinhardt was just fall to the rest of the team, then you could really see his uh, his efficiency on the character. And on the side of the defense here, let's see what they're going to be able to pull out. Looks like we will actually have an Orisa on the side of Woodstock. We'll see if they're going to pull anything else out for that. Lucio, we definitely will show them what we can do. We got a four full minutes on this attack. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Hello. And we actually have some possibly sneaky little bit of cheese for the damage pushing up towards the attack spawn. But we'll see how long they're actually going to stay up here. And we actually have, yep, a few people pushed up pretty far. You have to be a little bit careful just to make sure that nobody's going to get picked off or anything else. And we do have the D.Va attacking. That will be a decent counter. We're butts a little far up. He's got to make sure to get back to the entrance. He does. Okay, very good. So positioning is all set now. Let's see what Lunar's able to do with that empowered rocket. Actually gets all the way in the back. And now something that we didn't really even think about is that what are they going to be able to do to take out the Farah? Who is going to be able to shoot that far and be able to kill her before she's able to wreck havoc in the back line? You do have Ana. However, if you're diving in with that, you have to learn to prioritize the healing versus doing damage. She can three-shot the Farah, but if she's going to be paired up with the Mercy, then that'll be big problems. And so we do actually have Emblazon here, gonna be taking out Waifu as the contest on the point begins. Diva's gonna be having a rough battle back there with the Lucio and as well as Emblazon on that Reaper, but it looks like that they will hold strong for right now. I think that Arisa Berry is probably flipped the wrong way, but it can still be useful for right now. I know that they're trying to just contest themselves over there. Knight and Ten gonna be staggered right here. He will definitely go down. I don't think that he's gonna be making it out of here anytime soon. We actually have Snake in the back chasing. We have a 1v1 right here. Evan does get the better of him. So it's not today. And now we will have Lucio gonna be trying to jump around. Are they gonna be able to take off Snake? Doesn't look like it. Everybody will be retreating back. And we will have the wall hats coming out from the Widow right here. So gotta be careful about picking the position that you're gonna be coming up in right here. Gonna get a pull right there. Lunar will take a little bit of damage. We have Evan coming in real quickly. We'll get the sound barrier off on the Lucio. And Blazing gonna take him out. That was two ults really for just the Dragon Blade, but it looks like that it's holding okay for them. Oh, and we have the offensive Dragon Blade. Gonna go behind the wall right here. Gonna find one, gonna find two right there. Both supports gonna be down. That will be a halt on the push forward. Snake's gonna come up big right there. And we actually will have a DMEC in the back. We have Overbutt and Emblazon going to roughly stagger the D.Va compared to everybody else's spawns right here. Won't be too bad of a stagger, though. And I think an important thing right here that we typically don't see for most teams that are attacking if they're having a little bit of a rough time breaking through is going to be good ult management, trying to stagger ultimates. If you have two defensive ultimates, like a sound barrier and maybe a transcendence, is popping one, going in, and then popping the other one just so that you can prolong the fight, hopefully in your favor. And we'll see what the teams are able to do right here. We actually will have Lunar taking out the Orisa, so no shield will be here for the defense. And we will have a Biotic Grenade also come out. Fro's gonna seconds. pick off Pickle right here. We got 60 seconds. However, this does look like it is going in favor of the attacking team. Woodstock might be able to come up with something. Snake's gonna be trying to contest. Doesn't look like it. So we will have the first point at least gonna be going over. So it will be two to one right now as we start going up to the second point. Lunar coming up from spawn will actually have his Deadeye as well. However, the ults will flavor Emblazon and crew. 
Looks like we have a little bit of a skirmish My off on the right hand ready. side. The high ground being taken right now. Evan's trying to put down some fire over there in the back. And we will have a contest. We have the blade popping out, and Sport will go down. However, Lunar is able to come up with two. Overbutt's gonna grab two himself as well, and Pickle will also take out Evan. We do have some contest on the point. Knightington trying to survive here. He's done a fall right there. I think this is just making it worse for himself. He's gonna be overly staggered now. Sometimes if your team falls and the enemy team is not aware of being able to stagger you, it's sometimes best to just drop instantly, unless you have that mobility to for sure make it out. And we will have the Battle of Divas off on the side. However, one will get demapped instantly. I think she was already low over there. And the fro gonna get launched Damn. off. Poor bro, let me tell you. And that will delay the push a little bit more as well here. I need healing. And both teams come to just a little bit of light trading on the outside of their strong holds right here we will have pickle on the high ground trying to get that defense actually kind of juts the winston out right there slightly falls and we have evan with a very high rocket barrage but it does seem to pay off for him and we have lunar gonna be popping that dead eye will find one and we have emblazon also going to be popping his ultimate not too much found for the death blossom right here Pushing up right here will be a little bit difficult. Deadeye coming up. Gonna find three. That should be the end of this push right here. And so, nice hold right there. As the members of Wolfpack Hello. get ready to push forward once more. And time is not on their side. They have less than half of the time right now. No. The Wolfpack had. Ooh, actually Evan going to fall right here. I need healing. And having that right outside of spawn is definitely not going to be good for them. You need as much time as you can get right here. And everybody actually just sitting up in the back, trying to get back his mech. It does seem that he's uh, finally there. So that will be good. Didn't have to suicide or jump off the ledge or anything like that. A whiff jump right there, actually, coming out from the Winston. Ooh, I heard that headshot from Evans. POV. Gonna take out Ana. Self-destruct straight on the point. That will get two. Night and ten will fall, as well as the waifu up over in the bat. Evans trying to get there with Emblazon in the fro. They actually do take him out. We will get a little bit of tick right here. However, people coming out of the spawn, I think that they're gonna be able to defend this. And that will be another good hold right here. So, it's like over, ready. but might be setting up in position right there. So Woodstock, another wonderful hold. I feel like a new man. <sighs> and something that we still are not really seeing is just a six-man rush off in a certain position. Ooh, uh, night and ten. You can't be pushing up like that without the rest of your team. I think that Woodstock might be onto him just a little bit over there. As the nice announcer lady says, we do have 60 seconds left on this push right here. Even if the Wolfpack is able to break in right here and maybe take something for themselves, they will be at a disadvantage unless they can take it with a little bit of time left. That means that the Woodstock team will have over five minutes to take a single point right there. Knight and 10 jumping on the point once more. I don't think that they're having too much luck for this synergy right here. And we did actually have a dead eye popped in the back right there. Uh, that will be from the snake. Oh, and we actually have Evan though. Let's see if he's able to come up big. Actually, it's two for one on that slice, I think, in the back right there. Pitko going to be running around with his tire. Not going to find anything. But Evan, I think there's only so much that you can expect from him to do. 1v3 in the back. Going to make it 1v4 with Pitko coming in right there. It is... Evan against the world, and I think the world is going to definitely win in this case. Night 10 trying one last time right here. He will fall, and I don't think that poor Lunar is going to be able to make it to the point. He will not. So that will be 2 1 in favor of Woodstock. And we will have the snake. And I want to say Owo, but of course it's just OVO right there. Let's see if he's going to come up with that dead eye. There it is. I think this was the triple, and it was. Getting the 
a little bit of swag with the spray right there as he also takes down the monkey. Rest in peace, Harambe. May you live on in our hearts. And after this map on Hanamura, we will be getting into Ilios. Look at Spork right there coming up big with 10 votes. And then we'll we'll throw the rest of the points into the other support. So everybody getting a little bit of love there for both teams on the support side. And just to kind of recap that last game a little bit. So as mentioned, for it seemed like Nightington a little bit was trying to be a little too, I, I guess you could say, aggressive or quick to pull the trigger for leaping in on Winston. Even though he does have a fairly decent shield, you just have to remember that you will get obliterated if the team's going to focus you down inside of your shield or if they break the shield and then just break you down. You need to have a dedicated healer, maybe having an Ana in the back if you're able to go in there with maybe something that I, I actually really like because of her mobility and her utility. Maybe like a Moira being able to throw in your biotic orb, whether that's for heal or damage if you have people that are self-sustaining or anything like that. But being able to dedicate to a team comp, if you have a Winston, maybe throwing in also a Diva, a Lucio, a Tracer, just something to get into the bath line and cause a lot of disruption. If you're not going to go that route, maybe going for more mid-range skirmishes, having a 76, a McCree, anything else that you can kind of do just to make your team comp have a lot of uh, synergy with one another. And we will be getting into this in a little bit. Looks like Woodstock is ready, but we are still just waiting on the wolf pack right here. No problems. Maybe discussing some of the strategies moving forward right here. Curious if we will see Pickle still pull out the Widowmaker on a control map. Usually... And while we wait for both teams to get ready right here, we will cut to just a quick break, and then we will bring you more action with Woodstock and the Wolfpack. Now and we are ease. back with the EGF Season 1 semifinals here. We will be getting into the second game of Woodstock versus the Wolfpack, as we will be taking this to Ilios. So we will have a control map right here. It's always fun to see how the teams can diversify themselves and see what they're able to put together. As we saw in the last game, we did have Pickle for Woodstock coming up big on his Widowmaker. We'll see if they're still going to go with a similar type of strategy. Sometimes teams with their skill or, or the, the raw mechanics that they have can help make that work. But of course, I'm one that I would always love to see a well put together team kind of have a similar style around you just so that you can uh, take advantage for numbers advantage or just anything to utilize just that teamwork. It's always going to make the dream work. And we got 30 seconds till the doors will open. Both teams coming from their respective sides here. We have Snake, I think, teasing us with a Bastion over here. And same thing for the Torbjorn from over. But but we will see if they're going to stay true for that. Well. Lunar, maybe going to go with the Zarya. I do like it for the control. And we have five seconds. We finally have a little bit of swaps coming up right here. Overbutt going to finally be taking that Reinhardt. What? Gonna have an honest swap, Round and one. it looks Capture like the Bastion the will remain in play right here from Snake. Let's see what they're able to do for this setup and get into place here. And Blazing with the early shots fired, not finding too much. You can tell that by his percentage on his ultimate meter. Finally, Snake gonna come up with the first kill, actually. Bastion, and we also have a boop. Lucio on Lucio. That is going to be some devastating things. If they were twins right there, you definitely had some betrayal right here. And we have Night and Ten trying his best in the bat to take out the Ana. I don't think that's going to be happening right here. Evan tried to tease the point a little bit, but wasn't able to get it just yet. We have Night and Ten almost falling. Actually, get the boop on the Bastion. Rest in peace, my robot boy, as Night and Ten will actually give his life as well for that trade. So both teams will be down a single attacking person. And we actually have Waifu pretty far up right here. Gonna have an aggressive charge sleep onto the fro. Maybe should have left him there just a little bit. Ooh, we have the fire strike. Gonna take out Waifu. So that, and Pitko gonna be de-mecking the fro. Lunar will be able to take out Pitko as revenge for the mech though. 
And we have a fire fight up in the back, or should I say a flight fight, since we will have the two. And Blazin, you're going too low. The map ends down there. Don't fall, buddy. All right, I think he was able to make it off there. <laughs> Ooh, give me a heart attack over there in the back. Ooh, Evan coming up big. Finally, the point might be able to actually flop on the side of the wolf pack. We have 50% in favor of Woodstock right here. Over, but taking a leap, I think that was just to get back with his team, which I very much agree with. Don't want to stagger yourself too much and give over a lot of percentage. Now, looking at the ultimate and for their percentages right here, it does look like that this will actually be favoring Woodstock if they're able to charge him fast enough they have to be very very quick on this push forward though they're all sitting around 80 to 90 right here so that might come up in their favor 9 and 10 falling right here and three ultimates pop all at once as i just mentioned so we will have the sound barrier burst it off reinhardt did jump in right here got a double boop it was thankfully the mercy was able to come back she regretted that just a little bit though lucio booped her off then was able to take her out that looks like it's gonna be a team white as the wolf pack will have to get their uh, get their head back into uh -oh. this, I and that was a wonderful take crew. from Woodstock, being able to utilize all of their ultimate percentages wonderfully. We have four on the side of Woodstock just waiting as Snake is going to be charging his as well. Let's see what they're able to do with this Night and Ten pushing up very quickly. We will have a Earth Shatter in the back right there. We will have two going down, and Blazing not finding too much in the back right here. This and the fro will take out overbutt and pickle will also fall this seems to be a pretty even team fight right here both teams will have ultimates on their side we'll see who's going to be utilizing what none of them still pop just yet probably a smart call since numbers advantage will favor woodstock right here but they're gonna have to get on the point very quickly we got five percent left that will be about six seconds we're roughly three seconds left right here to stay on the point we will have overtime force right there snake will get two in the back Gonna take out the mech, and I would say that this is probably gonna go over for the side of the wolf pack, it seems. Somebody's gotta get on the point. Okay, there we go. Gonna be able to force that pickle. Ooh, actually will fall. Evan, the last man standing right here, actually will cap the point. And that was a heck of a fight coming up for both sides right here. Both teams going to also have two ultimates apiece. And Evan actually being the one that would take the point did fall, but it's all right. Sports right there just to back him up as the support. And we will once again commence with the Pharah fighting. Ooh, Snake actually going to pull him off. Since the Mercy did just res Evan over there, there will not be a res in their favor. And we do see two falling. We actually do have a rocket barrage in the back right there. And Blazin not going to be able to move just in time. But... It's all right, Snake's gonna take him out for that. Gonna take out the D.Va, as it seems Woodstock will probably be cleaning this up. And that will be all she wrote, unless somebody else is able to get onto the point right here. Evan actually getting locked up in that trap. And nobody will be able to survive long enough for the teams to regroup right there. So emblazing and crew on the side of Woodstock, gonna take that 178% for that first point. School. This is a good fight. Good good brawls on both sides. Zero. We'll see if the new map on Ilios will be able to favor Wolfpack a little bit more as we move over into the pits. One shot, one kill. And on this map, no, it is legend. typically favored that you have a Widow just because just of away. the way that you can get high grounds on both sides. <laughs> And also having the drop open point that doesn't have any sort of surrounding cover or structures as the previous point did. You have all the walls and like small entrances, but it's going to be kind of hard if you did run a Widow on the last map. And we are already into the point as both teams rush towards each other. Evan leading the pack on his side, going to have a fire strike come out right there. Actually going to reflect that back. Doesn't seem to find too much for that though. And I actually like this running the Roadhog right here. Gonna be able to try and break down the Rhine Shield very quickly. This will possibly cause a lot of problems. And we do have Lunar actually taking out Pickle over by taking out Fro. We're gonna have a pull right there in Blazing. It's like he got stunned up a little bit there. Will fall, so that's gonna be no walls on the side of Woodstock. And that will actually favor Wolfpack right there. Lunar's gonna be a little bit low in the back. We do have a little bit of a contest. It looked like that 
they were actually staggering the Lucio just slightly, waiting until he was almost going to get out of the trap. So that's brilliant. I love seeing that. And the strong defense here. Both teams actually going to be running the... There it is. This is going to be running the, uh, the Junk Rat, just throwing bombs from range. And we'll see how Woodstock is going to be able to counter this, if they are going to be able to at all. Then I have a charge right here. You've got to be very careful about that, leaving your team with no cover in the back. And actually something that I have missed was going to be Night Zen on that May. I don't think I've seen that being pulled out, especially not on the map like this. And we do have Woodstock burning some ultimates, trying to fight back right here. This looks like it should work out in their favor as the Wolfpack will be falling. And that will be the flop in a similar swap, except in the reverse order this time, just a little bit over 50% gonna be finally flopping over for Woodstock now. We'll see if they're gonna be able to take it back around 20 to 30%, and we will see if this will be almost a replay of the previous game, just in the reverse order. And it looks like Woodstock is feeling very confident and feeling, feeling very spry, being able to push up very far forward. Ooh, and we have Emblazon going to come up with a good Earth Shatter in the back right there. Is only going to find Sport. However, most teams do not proceed forward without a Mercy. We will have a trade pro for... Oh, actually going to have more trades right here. Emblazon going to get the pin right there. However, Lunar is feeling pretty good about himself as he will be able to just heal himself up. We're gonna have some brawls inside of the small area right here. This is likely to favor the Roadhog. Evan's gonna get the reflect right here. I think he actually reflected Pickle's bomb back to him. And now Snake, unless he's able to come up with something big right here, I think this will not go well for him. Actually, is going to finally fall there down at the very, very end as the remaining member of Woodstock will oh. retreat for the time being. So pretty even percentage when the flop was. We will see how this develops moving forward. Looking at the ultimates and who has what in their favor, it actually seems to be fairly even. Pickle not going to have anything in his favor just because he used it right there. So while he will not have the ult charge, he will pick up a lot right here. So I think Woodstock's feeling solid. Lunar jumping off. A smart move to not stagger. And Wolfpack will have a sound barrier as well as a dragon blade over on their side. But we do have actually a mirror ultimate on the side of Woodstock. We'll see who's able to utilize it better. Sometimes, as you might see, is that the last team to actually use the sound barrier comes out victorious, since when the Earth runs out, theirs will still be running. So we have over by actually finding what he needs to in the back. Gonna be taking out Spork right here. The percentage will finally go a little bit more in their favor as we go 83 up to 82. Woodstock's finding exactly what they need. Nightington trying his hardest to get some frags in the back, but I don't think he's gonna be too successful. He will fall right there. And we have less than 10 percentage for Wolfpack to try and get back over to where Woodstock's point is. They will find it right here, but are they going to be falling before overtime? Nope, overtime will definitely be forced. We will have a sound barrier. However, due to the numbers advantage and everything else that's developing, unless Wolfpack's able to pull something out for themselves, I think this will actually go to Woodstock. And Blazing gonna put the hammer down. Evan's going to be squashed there. And we actually will have Overbutt coming up from the back part right here. And so that will actually go in favor of Woodstock right here. Solid turns, good ultimates, good pressure. Play of the game. And we will have the hammer down being the play of the game. Look at that sweet golden hammer. I think you typically have to pay extra for that one. Ooh, that was a solid. And there was the boop off of the map. And actually the Lucio coming up with two of those kills. And wonderful play from both teams right here. Epic. And Evan coming up with nice the massive four gold medals here. And that will be it for here. As we had a Woodstock going to be going up right here. Both teams telling each other, of course, GG. And I think something that just to mention one more time is just going to be the ultimates being able to have a lot of that synergy for 
both sides. We we saw a little bit better performance out of that. Seemed out of Woodstock as they take it 2-0 over the Wolfpack. But Wolfpack still had some fight in them. You could definitely see it. They, they definitely didn't go 100-0 to zero on any of the points. Um, they were still able to take the first point over on Hanamura. But it was a blast to be able to see both of these teams come out right here. And so depending on how much you've actually been keeping up with our series, this will actually mean that Woodstock being able to take this win will move on to the finals for the EGFH series. And so we will see them later on in the month. But GG's to both teams right here. And I just want to say to everybody, thank you all for tuning in for this very first match as we were able to see Woodstock take out the Wolfpack to be able to punch their ticket over into the EG FH Season 1 Finals. And we will be back in just a little bit. Make sure that you stay tuned. Drop that follow. Make sure that you're following us on Twitter as well. Just to make sure that you keep up with all the action whenever we'll be live for the casting. And in just a little bit, we will pick up with the Notre Dame's Green Knights versus the London Whaler Esports. And we'll be back in just a little bit. 